Okay. Hey, this is Dave Rose from Ver <laughs> Oh wait, it's starting. Alright. Hey, this is David Veras and today I'm going to bring you a home weight loss workout that you can do to start losing weight at home. You don't have to worry about a gym, you don't have to worry about buying another program. It's all right here. I'm going to give you all the information you need and it's really simple, okay? So let's go to the board. I'm going to lay down all the rules and then we'll get into the workout. So this is a home fat loss work, home weight loss workout. Um, when it comes to the first week, I want you to do it two, two circuits, Monday, two circuits on Wednesday, two circuits on Friday and I want you to take Sunday off. On Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I want you to do cardio for 30 minutes. You can do, you can, you can walk, you can jog, you can play basketball, you can play tennis, whatever you want to do to, to do cardio, but you need to have that mix. You need to have that resistance training, you need to have that cardio training. So on week one, like I said, you're gonna do the same circuit. Well, don't worry about the circuit, we're going to that in a little bit, but you're gonna do the circuit two times on Monday, two times on Wednesday, two times on Friday, two times on uh, you know, another day. You're gonna take uh, Sunday off. That's the only day you're gonna have off. Week two, same thing. Two times uh, so circuit, cardio on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday. On week three, we're going to do the cardio of the circuit three times. So same thing, same days, whatever. On week four, you're going to do the circuit four times. All right? So that's the whole schedule. If you follow this for a month, I promise you you're going to get results. So when it comes to diet, you know, when it comes to losing weight, uh, diet is 70% and exercise is 30%. So you really need to focus on the diet. It's not okay for you to just do the exercise. You need to focus on the diet too. I'd say the diet is more important than the exercise itself. So it's, it's important that you do both things. Don't try to do one thing. You can't out-train a bad diet. Diet is really, really important. So when it comes to diet, there's some simple rules. There's a little bit more than this. If you want more information from me, just go to verisfitness.com. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on not having sugars. We're gonna pro uh, forget about processed carbs. We're gonna forget about cereal. We're gonna forget about crackers, we're going to forget about anything that comes in a box, you want to avoid that. Anything processed, forget about processed foods. Um, no liquid calories, so no beer, no orange juice, no fruit juices, none of that. Only water. We're only going to focus on water for a whole month. And then on top of that, we're going to forget about dairy. So no cheese, no cottage cheese, no yogurt, none of that. So when it comes to dairy, that's another important thing. Um, and, and what you should be eating is you want to focus on high protein, and low calories. So foods that are high in protein and low in calories are foods like chicken, tuna, broccoli, and cauliflower. You definitely want to get as many fruits and vegetables in there. That's where you get all your energy from. That's where you get all your carbs from. And your protein, you're going to get it from uh, chicken and tuna. And if you want to take it more advanced than that, I probably recommend a protein shake after every meal. I mean, after every workout. And take your vitamins and, and uh, maybe even fish oil. So that's it when it comes to diet. Um, and that's the whole schedule. Right now we're getting to the workout. Alright, ready? Just give me a thumbs up. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to get into the whole workout. The workout, I'm going to demonstrate a couple things and then we're going to get right into it. So, when it comes to squats, we're going to do squats. If you're not ready to do squats, you can easily grab a chair, put your hands in front of you and just do squats like this. Okay? It's really easy to do squats. And then we're going to do push-ups too. When it comes to push-ups, you can always put your knees down. So, instead of, you know, doing a push-up like that, you just do it on your knees. You know? Just do the best you can, that's all that really matters. And then we're gonna do uh, back pulls, so it's really important for you to have a, a chair ready to go. All right? So, um, when it comes to the whole workout, I'm gonna use onlinestopwatch.com. You can go on Google, just search online stopwatch, and you should find it. So the whole workout is, we're gonna run in place for a whole minute, then we're gonna do a whole minute of squats, a minute of push-ups, a minute of chair pulls, a minute of leg raises, and then we're gonna take a minute break, and then we're gonna do the whole circuit again and do it twice. And like I said, uh, that when you get to a certain stage, you're gonna be doing the circuit three times and even four times. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little button somewhere on this video where you can start the whole thing again. As soon as you do your circuit, you go back into it. All right, so let's start the workout.
squats. Like I said, if you need a chair, use the chair. My dog is over there, like, flying at the, the glass door. I guess he wants to use part of the video. If you're doing squats, it's okay for you to go halfway if it hurts too much. But once you get to a certain stage, you want to go all the way down. Put your butt all the way down to the floor.
So if you're, even your fourth, if you're in your fourth week, you want more videos from me, more information, just visit verosfitness.com.